All right, in the last video, we learned what a resource histogram is, and we did this example. So we started with the table of dependencies. We built a Gantt chart based on those. We identified the cost per day of each activity based on what was given to us in the table. For example, activity A here was $300 per day, so we just wrote $300 above the bar for each day that activity was happening. Then what we do when we drew the resource histogram as we figured out, well, look, at least the first two days, there's only one activity happening, and that activity costs $300 per day. So our resource histogram for day one, we're going to spend $300 for day one. We're going to spend $300 on day two, etc. It goes on. And then uh, when we get over to day six and seven, we have two activities happening at once. So we add those costs to get the total project cost per day. For example, we had $400 plus $200 happening on this day six here. And so we're getting $600 on our resource histogram. So the next thing that we want to do with this information, now that we know how to draw a resource histogram, is we want to know what to do if we're imposed with a resource constraint. So for this example, let's say that uh, someone has told us that we're not allowed, to, we're not able to spend more than five hundred dollars on any given day. So you'll come in here and you'll draw just a line across your resource histogram at 500. So this is constraining us. We cannot spend more than $500 a day. So we are going to have to fix something with these two days here, days six and day seven. And you can see that it's obviously because we're, we're adding 400 and 200. Uh, now, the way that we fix this is we would, uh, we would actually begin to use the late start and the late finish of any activities. So if we look at the critical path here, it's pretty easy to see without drawing the PDM network diagram that the critical path would be A, B, D, E, right? And you can also see from the predecessors that nothing depends on activity C here, right? We could draw the whole network diagram, but just to save time, uh, it's also a good skill to be able to, for a simple uh, project like this, to be able to pick out what is the critical path. So anyways, activity C here is not on the critical path. So what we want to do is that means we're able to move this without, uh, so without extending the entire duration of the project, we could move this over two days, right? Because if this if activity C finishes on day 10, that's okay, because the whole project will still finish on day 10. So what we want to do is let's do that. Let's draw its position here for the late for its late start and late finish. All right, so we could have activity here in green, right? Uh, the, the blue would be its early start, early finish. Green would be its late start, late finish. So now if we were to redraw the resource histogram, using this late start and late finish of activity C, we'll see what happens here. So first of all, we have to identify, again, um, activity C will always cost $400 per day. So maybe let's just write that, um, maybe let's go like this. Uh, we'll put it, we'll just have to write it down here because we're running out of space. 400, $400 per day, right? Uh, and that means that this this blue part here, we're not looking, we're not considering that anymore because we've shifted it over, we've shifted this whole thing just over two spaces. So now let's draw this on the resource histogram. We'll draw our updated resource histogram using the late start and late finish. And actually we're using the late start and late finish for all of these activities because anything on the critical path, their early start and, and early finish will be the same as their late start and late finish. But Let's look at this. So days one and two, we're only spending $300 per day on those days. So nothing here has changed, but we'll just draw it here in green so you can so you can see hopefully the difference. Uh, the next three days, again, we're still only spending $400 per day, so that's fine. We're still under our daily limit of 500. Now let's look at this though. So we're not, we've shifted activity C, so just forget about this. We're going to use what's the, the green line here. So that means for day six and seven, we're only spending $200. So we're going to come down here actually to 200 for two days. And then day eight here, we have two activities happening. So we have 400 plus 100. So we're going to jump up to 500. So we're gonna be right at that limit, but that's okay to be right at the limit. We just can't go over the limit. And then we'll have 500, 500, 500 for these last three days of the project. And then we'll come down just like a normal histogram and finish that off. So here you can see that we've actually, by switching, uh, by using the late start and late finish of activity C, we have actually effectively not gone over $500 on any given day.